these are the essential things I want you guys to understand before going in and starting to break down your dialogues acting wise. The first one, the principle is acting is reacting. What your character is, he or she is a living, breathing, real life creature who has goals, who has desires. So everything that you're going to see them doing on the screen is a reaction to something else, whether it's in pursuit of a goal or whether that goal that they had, something is blocking them from getting to it. Same thing as in acting is doing in their scene. Second one is uh, character needs an objective. Everyone has wants and desires. So it is your character. So you guys need to figure out who this character is and what they want. Whether it's going to be money, power, a girl down the street, a new job, a loaf of bread for their child. They always need something to go for. One of the main features is to figure out what they want. So the third thing is your character will play an action until an event happens that will make them play a different one. So again, let's take an example. Let's say you want to go out and find a girl. So what do you do? You get dressed up, you go to the bar. You're going to the bar, pursuing an objective to find that girl. You find a girl, you walk up to her. Uh-oh, another guy comes in and starts talking to the girl before you get to. You're going to play one action until something gets in the way of that goal and it's going to make you play a different action. And the next thing is empathy. While your character is pursuing that goal, you want to make sure they have empathy, not sympathy. You want to make sure that you can relate to them on a human level and not just feel sorry for them. Empathy is making the audience see themselves in your character. This is in the Acting for Animators book. A scene is a negotiation. What does that mean? Character pursuing something and something is getting in their way. There's always going to be an element of want a goal, and then a barrier between that. So the negotiation is, barrier comes up in front of the character, what do they do to try and get to their goal? So that's the negotiation is, should I go left or should I go right? Again, it's the three conflicts. So that barrier, there's gonna be three kinds. It's gonna be a person versus a person. It's like the guy who goes into the bar, wants the girl, but then the jerk, guy gets in front of him, person versus environment or situation. Like the movie My Life with Michael Keaton, he has a wife and he's about to be a father, but then he finds out that he has a uh, terminal cancer. It's a person versus their situation. And then there's person versus self. This is a lot more of the introspective one. Let's take the example, there's a guy who wants to ask a girl out, but again, he's so nervous, he doesn't know what to do. That internal conflict, person versus self. The next thing is acting is real life heightened. We are not mimicking reality. We're heightening or enhancing reality. There's a great quote from acting teacher Peter Brook. He says, no matter how much you feel, your character is going to feel more. No matter how much your character loves, your character is going to love even more. We're animators. We enhance the reality of, of what we're doing seven your scene starts in the middle remember your character is going to have a history they have intentions before the scene even starts it's kind of like again we turn on the tv and we're catching a program midway through there's something also called the adrenaline moment the adrenaline moment is any time your character heart really starts racing or it's a it's a moment in the character's life or if they looked back when they're 95, 100 years old, they're going to remember this moment. Try as much as you can to make your shot one of these adrenaline moments for your character. Again, it's going to be the moment they see the woman that they eventually marry or a moment when they decide to betray their best friend. It's one of those really important life moments that they're going to reflect upon when they're old. One of the most important things when you do when you start blocking is going to be getting that first pose down. If you can get this first pose down and use that as a base rather than just the generic rig at zero default, this informs me a lot more than this does when I start animating. This is really helpful for animators. The power center. 
is where the emphasis of the character is that's going to actually help you when you're posing. So if your character has a low power center, which means they're going to carry a majority of their weight and or attention to the lower part of their body, you could picture them kind of as more hunchback, where the power center would be around this area, versus a power center kind of like where I drew Malcolm up here. If he has a high power center, he's going to come across as a lot more confident, egotistical. This is something you could think about for your character. Is your character a depressed character? Are they an old character? Or are they a confident character, a young character? And that's going to determine where the power center of the character is. The next thing is comedy. Comedy is drama heightened. You're either going to have two situations with comedy. You're either going to have an unusual person in a normal situation, or you're going to have a normal person in an unusual circumstance. So if you think about Wiley e. Coyote in Warner Brothers, he is actually more of the normal person in an unusual circumstance. He adheres to real world gravity and getting hurt, even though he's a cartoon. But the comedy comes not from him being extreme, but all the extreme things happening to him versus someone like Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is very much the eccentric guy in a regular situation. You're going to have something normal and then something extreme. Anything less than extreme, you're going to have just regular drama here. If you're going for comedy, figure out what is the thing that's going to go to the nth degree and push it. That's how you're going to get the funny. Last point, <laughs> simplicity. You want to make sure your message comes across as clear and easily visible to your audience. You're not mimicking real life, you're distilling real life into something that's easily digestible for the audience to see and experience. So don't just go willy-nilly and start making poses here and there. Everything you do, everything on the screen, every little movement, gesture, mannerism you, you put onto your test is for a reason. And the reason is to tell the story and explain who the character is to the audience.